Welcome to Impact OC, the only program showcasing the people and organizations shaping Orange County. With your host, Don Camber. Hello, live from the OC Talk Radio studios at UCI's Beale Applied Innovation Center. I'm OC Talk Radio Public Affairs Director Don Camber with two great guests impacting our community in a positive way. Today, I welcome High Hopes Brain Injury Program Developer and Director Instructor Mark Desmond and founding member of Ryan's Reach, Lindy Michaelis. Lindy is a music icon's Pat Boone's daughter and singer Debbie Boone's sister, and Ryan's Reach was created after Lindy. Lindy's son, Ryan, experienced traumatic brain injuries from an accident and relied upon the services of High Hopes. They're here to talk about the Dove Dash fundraising event September 24th in Tribuco Canyon to raise money to cover costs of those in the nonprofit High Hopes Brain Injury Program. Thank you, Mark and Lindy, for being on Impact OC. Hi, Don. It's great to see you. It's wonderful to see you today. I'm just so excited to be able to share what we've got going on this coming Saturday. Thank you for having us. Well, Mark, please explain your High Hopes Brain Injury Program. Yes, High Hopes is the first brain injury program in the United States. And it was started right after paramedics was started. That's 47 years ago. We, we work with traumatic brain injuries and stroke individuals. And we're the, considered the most highly successful program in the country. We're a charitable organization, and we help people recover their lives. Lindy, please give us the story about your son and the relationship between High Hopes and Ryan's Reach. Sure. In 2001, I got the call no parent wants to get. Ryan had fallen three stories, and he was in a hospital uh, suffering all kinds of injuries, um, broke bones, but also lost his spleen and had a severe skull fracture. I was in Spain when I got that call on vacation. So we traveled home and we entered the world of brain injury and he had a very severe brain injury. He did survive it, of course. And we went on this long journey learning about therapy and the importance of it. And insurance provides it as long as you're getting better fast enough. What we learned is they can cut you off from therapy. And even what is available through insurance often is just a few hours a week. So I was very fortunate to find out in Tustin, not too far from where I live, there's a brain injury program called High Hopes. And I was able to get Ryan into the program because they will accept anybody at any stage of their recovery. It doesn't matter if you're progressing fast, they will, they have all kinds of things to help continue to stimulate and make a difference. So I have always been very um, grateful for High Hopes existing. And then once the crisis kind of settled, uh, we felt like we, as a, as a celebrity family, we had the ability to raise some funds and we started Ryan's Reach, which is a nonprofit to help people uh, attend High Hopes is how we began. We began to just support High Hopes and help provide things that they needed, be it computers or a van. And eventually it really turned into us scholarshipping people that as many as we could into the program so they could get the kind of therapy Ryan was already getting. Uh, we don't raise money for my son because he was able to have a settlement that pays for his needs, but it left us available to start helping other people through this nonprofit. So we work very closely together. How is Ryan? Well, Ryan is about 21 years post-injury. He was 24 when it happened. He's 45 now. Um, he doesn't remember his age. He lives in the very present moment. And so for me, I'm very blessed that he is not feeling the loss of what happened in his accident. He's in a wheelchair. He lives with us. He has caregivers. But he also has a lot of joy. He doesn't worry about the future. He doesn't grieve the past. He lives present tense. So I learned from my son. Contentment is here in, in the now. And he has been blessed to get wonderful therapy and to be able to be at high hopes. And I've been blessed to be able to help other people in this process that otherwise wouldn't be able to go to high hopes. And we've also started two group homes for people with brain injury that are younger. They're kind of in the mid range that falls through the cracks. 
Mark, share with us some of the therapies that are used for people experiencing these kinds of injuries. Sure, I'd love to. First of all, uh, what we do is very unique. There's only one of us anywhere on the planet. First is we don't give up on anybody. We take people that uh, need help. Many of them are, have extreme deficits. And then whatever it takes, we're going to find a solution for them. So we have a great therapy program. It's been developed over all these years. We have the highest success rate of getting people out of wheelchairs in the country. We've been on all the national television shows over the years for our success rate. And we take, uh, I love taking the ones that everybody else gives up on. I love ones that uh, uh, were told that uh, this is impossible. They're never going to get better. And we disprove that. And we prove it by hard work. We have technology, robotics, but it's well more than just the robotics. It's the determination of doing things at the right moment at the right time and knowing what to do. Very few do. And we're very, very fortunate to help uh, well over 1,000, maybe 2,000 people over the years uh, recover uh, their life. Now, are they the person they were before? No. But are they have a life where they can uh, enjoy their life? Uh, uh, some go back to work. Uh, some go back to school, usually uh, part time. But they have a life, and they're off the uh, burden of others. Uh, and we want everybody to be as independent as possible, whatever that is. And with independence is freedom. And we want freedom for each one of our people uh, that are with us. Can you give us details about how the therapy works? Well, how it works is uh, I assess each individual and then put them on a particular program. And if there isn't such a program, I work on inventing a program for them. Physical things are easier for someone to see. If you're in a wheelchair, it's easy to see that you don't walk or it's easy to see your arm doesn't work. The, uh, so we start addressing things physically. Uh, the cognitive issues are a little bit more uh, not as apparent whether it be memory problems, concentration, behavioral, you know, hey, I can read, I can do this, and then they read and find out they can't comprehend. Or they might be really good at math skills, but uh, they're really poor at other skills. Judgment. How do you know when you step out in the, off the curb every day to walk across the street that it's safe? If your perception is poor, does that mean you're going to have another brain injury? Yes, it is. It could be. So everybody's different. Create a program for each person. Uh, we start with physical and then go from there. Uh, again, physical is something that you can't deny, and it's right there in front of you. Lindy, talk about the Dove Dash. Well, about... Well, 22 years ago, the Dove Dash was started by a community member in Dove Canyon. And she just wanted to do a fun run and a pancake breakfast. And she did a great job just starting it off for a few years. And they just raised some money and gave it to whatever charity they felt like that year. Ryan's Reach approached them saying, will you teach us? We lived in Coto there in Dove Canyon. We saw the signs up and we said, we want to do a 5K. How do you do a 5K? So we got trained and we partnered with that one gal that, that started it and we grew Grew it, and we made it, you know, a little bit more involved. We added, you know, elements to it. It's coming up on Saturday. Um, it starts with a 5K at 8 o'clock. There's going to be a 1K at 8:45. Anybody can do it. You can be an elite runner, or you can be somebody that just wants to bring their dog on a nice walk. It's inside Dove Canyon. Dove Canyon is a beautiful residential area. We end up at the Country Club having pancake breakfast. And so it's a really, it's supposed to be beautiful weather. Oh, it's going to be absolutely Saturday. beautiful. And the uh, 5Ks along the ridge, so you mm -hmm. can see the mountains and the ocean in the background. And again, it's for everybody, all ages and all abilities, including mm -hmm. people in wheelchairs, mm -hmm. walkers. The 1K is all downhill to the mm -hmm. right. The 5K is a little more challenging, mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be a wonderful morning. I think it's supposed to be 68 degrees in the morning. Perfect. Up in the 70s at the most. So it's going to be beautiful. Everybody that registers, uh, you go to which which website it's going to be? You can go to Ryan's Ryan's Reach. Reach. Com. Com or highhopes.ws. Those or, are where you can sign up. You can sign up as an adult or a child. You can do the 1K with your family. My dog park is going. A bunch of people from my dog park bring in their dogs so it's it's really enjoyable 
And Mark, the importance of raising money for your organization. Well, it provides scholarship. Everyone at High Hopes receives scholarship assistance. We are the lowest cost program in the United States as well. Therapy is expensive. Costs are expensive. People come to High Hopes for nothing. Others pay what they can afford. And the scholarship is our lifeblood to provide funding for people to be able to come to High Hopes. Mm -hmm. And the nice thing about High Hopes, nobody knows what everybody pays. Mm -hmm. So we treat everybody the same. Mm -hmm. Whether they're a celebrity or whether they're someone that n nobody quite gets it right, who's paying the most or whatever mm -hmm. for services. That right. way, everybody's always treated the same. On what are some of the reasons that people go to High Hopes? What causes them to get a brain injury? Falls is number one. There are about 1.2 million in the United States every year. And Orange County alone is about 3,000. Just traumatic brain injuries, not even mentioning strokes. Mm -hmm. uh, so it can happen to anybody any age. You can be old, you can be young. I have people in high school. I have my one year lady started today, uh, a stroke at uh, 40 years old. Uh, I do take some people with brain injuries and spinal cord injuries. I have another one just started. So uh, it can happen, accidents, car accidents. Heart attacks. Heart attacks, um, you name it. Um, Anytime the oxygen is cut off from the brain for any length of time, you know, collapsed lung in an accident, that can shut off the oxygen to the brain. So damage is done. So that's they called anoxia. So the therapy tries to do something with the brain to kind of rejuvenate it? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to treat the whole person because the deficits are as a whole person. We're working to get them as independent as possible and be in the community to be like all of us, you know. Uh, things that we all take for granted, getting up in the morning, be able to go to the kitchen, make your breakfast, being able to, to have a place to go, a reason for you to have a life, to get out there and do things is what we're all going with everyone. Can, can I just add though, that when Ryan's accident happened, I was told by experts, you'll probably see most of his improvement in the first year, year and a half. Well, that was scary because time was ticking and I was, you know, thinking, oh my gosh, we're almost through that first year. We're almost through the, this window. But I, I have a theory and that is that people run out of energy and money in that amount of time. But if you can still pay for therapy or access therapy, if that person has stimulation and people pouring into them, Ryan has made so much progress after that window. A lot of it came after that window. That's, yeah, and that's not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the reality is people can improve their entire uh, life. As long as we're breathing, we mm -hmm. have potential. Improvement. The brain is plastic. It's, it's able to learn. It's able to find new pathways. But you have to stimulate it. You have to get involved in, you know, tr pushing them a little bit to try. So how was Ryan pushed? Well, I was kind of attached Mom makes to the him <laughs> I was attached at the hip um, and just in his face all the time and encouraging him and reminding him of his life and, you know, a lot of prayer. I believe in that. And then finding places, you know, when, when one door shuts, you find well, who's going to take him next, you know. So I'm not done either. I mean, he's still got a ways to go. But boy, is life better than the doctors predicted. Mark, Ryan Super. Give us some good examples of other success stories. Oh, my. So many of them. Uh, you met one was Megan when I came visit you one other time. Uh, she was uh, injured in Colorado, a uh, bicycle accident, and wasn't supposed to be able to walk. And uh, she walked into the, into the studio and had a great conversation with you. There's one um, uh, every moment. There's one. I have one. another one that a young lady had a stroke, uh, uh, and that was in early as July. And they predicted she'd be uh, wheelchair bound, yada, yada, yada. She's walking and talking, and her gait's a little bit off, but uh, uh, she has a life. So, And she's not driving yet, but she has a life. Her children have her mom back. She's mm -hmm. back home. She's got her husband back. Uh, uh, light. She walked her children to, to school, the first day of school. And there's, you know, so, and it's all those little things in life that we take for granted that are given back to us. And, and it's not true. People can get better. Does it take hard work? Absolutely. Does it take uh, somebody, 
like Lindy pushing you and you're going to go each day whether you want to or not. Yeah. Tough love. Yes. Uh, determination. Yes. Doing the right thing at the right time. Yes. Uh, having the support of others. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, is essential because mm -hmm. these people need to get to where they need to go. And yeah. a lot of them don't have the resources to get there or the support system. Sometimes High Hopes is their family because right. everybody else is given up and we're mm -hmm. at. Uh, There's a social life involved too. I mean, just for Ryan, he can't go out too many places, too many, you know, in, in big groups, but he's used to High Hopes and that's his kind of his social life. Quickly give us the websites. HighHopes.ws or Ryan'sReach.com, or you can just Google Ryan's Reach or Google High Hopes mm -hmm. Head Injury Program or Brain Injury, and it comes right up. It's we're easy to find. You know the Frank Sinatra song High Hopes. We got High Hopes. Frank Sinatra sang that for us many years ago. If you have a body that works and you want to go out and get some exercise, and you want to be with some friends, you want to eat some pancakes, come out Saturday morning and join us and. When you're having fun, you're helping some really dear people. Thank you, High Hopes Brain Injury Director, Instructor, and Program Developer, Mark Desmond, and founding member of Ryan's Reach, Lindy Michaelis, for being on Impact OC. And I thank everyone for tuning in. I'm OC Talk Radio Public Affairs Director, Don Camber. Have an impactful day. You've been listening to Impact OC the only program showcasing the people and organizations shaping our community. Right here on Orange County's only community radio station, OC Talk Radio. 